Good morning, it is Monday and the plan of the day is get orders done. Uh, as always there's a lot of orders coming over the weekend so I need to get them done ready for the posty and then we'll be training as well. Uh, again I have no idea what we're doing, uh, mixing it up quite a lot at the moment which I'm liking because I don't know what we're doing when we're going to the gym. So uh, yeah, it's uh, I quite like it that way because then it saves dreading, I never dread a session anyway but leg day is probably my least favourite. So yeah it saves dreading something when you don't know what you're doing. So it's a bonus. Uh, this afternoon, get more stuff ready for the Beard of Moustache Championships. Uh, the t-shirts are on order, the event t-shirts. Um, there's more entries coming over the weekend, so I need to get them booked in. Uh, what else? I think that's kind of it, man. It's just Beard of Moustache stuff, really. Um, getting that ready for the champs, because it's, oh, well, it's less than three weeks away now. And then tonight I'm going to a gig as well. Uh, my cousin's son's band Polly they're playing at Sneaky Pete's I think in Edinburgh so yeah gonna head up there and watch them I've not seen them play for a while so uh, looking forward to that it's gonna be good they are on Spotify if you want to check them out just Polly P-O-L-L-Y um, yeah I think that's kind of it the weekend was chilled just family time which was nice I uh, got Danny doing the pump track again um, putting laps in on the bike had a nice wee crash as well but he was fine <laughs> just popped back up and done the section again so he was good Uh yeah, I think that's kind of it. I'm going to go now and uh, get ready for the gym. We're training a bit early today, so go and get labels ready for the orders, get the gym done, and then get back for um, getting orders finished and ready for the posty. So I will see you in a little bit. See ya. Are you waiting for the perfect time to do something? I know there's so many people out there who have got a great idea, whether it's for a business idea or how they want their body to look, how they want their finances to look, how they want their business to look, and they're waiting for the perfect time. All right, there's no such thing as a perfect time. Now is a perfect time. Now, that moment's passed. You gotta start now. Do not wait. Just do the thing, crack on, and get on with it. There's never gonna be a perfect time. You're gonna learn from experience as you go along. There's a lot of people are waiting, they reading all the articles, studying all the books, watching all the videos, tutorials, that kind of thing, waiting for the perfect time. As I say, just do it now. Put one foot in front of the other, take that first step, and learn as you go. It's the only way to get started. Learn as you go. Otherwise you'll be putting it off and you'll be in the same position you are now in a year's time waiting for that perfect opportunity. It never comes. Get started now. If you need help, send me a DM. Right, that's Monday session done. It was leg day today, like I thought it was going to be, but it was all good. It was like seven sets of front squats, um, hip thrusts, explosive jumps, sled, that kind of stuff. Man, it was a lot. Anyway, heading back to the lab now. I'm going to get some food, get washed, and get orders done.
Hello, that is Friday done. Eh, uh, Friday. That's Monday done. It's been a long day. <laughs> I wish it was Friday. <laughs> uh, no, nah, it's been a long day. It's uh, been a few orders there, man. So it was good. The orders are away now. It's an international one away as well. Uh, training was good. It was leg day. And uh, yeah, going to feel that, man. It's uh, front squats are always hard, but good. It's good exercise. Um, and then stuff ready for the champs, really. That's what I've been doing this afternoon. That's why my head's pickled. Um, just printing off the lanyard. Well, designing the lanyard, um, the competitor pass thing. Um, designing that and printing off some tests for that. Make sure they're okay. Uh, what else? Emails. Designing the booklet a wee bit. There's, some, uh, there's a lot of work to do in the booklet that goes out. So um, designing bits of that. Adding bits of that, putting the, the category sponsors and stuff in today. Um, yeah, a lot of just wee bits here and there. Uh, in uni tomorrow, in the morning, then be in the lab in the afternoon, and then we've got Tuesday night check-in tomorrow night as well at 6pm, and then I've got the coaching calls at 7pm, the group coaching calls that is, um, for the mindset and physical fitness and any beard stuff, any business stuff, that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, the coaching calls for that. If you want to... If you want to inquire about it or sign up or anything, man, check out itsabrawlife.com. I set that up this morning as well um, for the coaching stuff. So, yeah, it's all going, it's all going. Right, I'm going to boost, go home because i uh, got to go home, uh, chill with the family, get Danny in bed, and then I am off to a gig, like I said, see my cousin's band, Polly. Uh, my cousin's boy's band, Polly. Um, they're playing at Sneaky Pete's tonight, so looking forward to that. Right, I'm going to go. I will see you on Wednesday. Catch you later. Good morning, it is Wednesday and the plan today is get orders done, there's a lot of orders there which is good. Um, yes, yeah, so I need to get them out the door and there's a couple of American ones as well. Uh, we're training as well, I've no idea what we're doing. Uh, I used to predict what we were going to do and that, and then I stopped because Kev changed it up just to keep me on my toes and yeah, I have no idea what we're doing but I'm looking forward to it, whatever it's going to be. Um, and then this afternoon, just uh, more stuff to do for the Beard the Moustache Championships. And uh, we've got new premises sorted, so I need to get stuff ready for that. Uh, what else? That's kind of it. Also, actually, I need to... All the trophies are finished for the, the Beard the Moustache Championships. All the awards are done. They're produced. Um, so I need to go and pick them up today as well. I'll give you a little sneak peek um, when I get them. But yeah, so I've had samples. We've been playing with samples for a few weeks now. Um different samples and different they're engraved right so different depths and stuff like that so that's them finished now um, which I'm looking forward to seeing them in the flesh and they smell amazing as well they smell amazing and the reason they smell amazing is because they're made out of plywood but they're laser cut so when the laser goes through it and engraves it it releases this magnificent smell so they smell good man they smell good uh, right so I got to do that uh, last night with the Tuesday night check-in which was good uh, it was quite a busy one actually really busy um, good chat as always and then I had the coaching call as well the group coaching call for the it's a bra life that's what I'm starting to call this the coaching side of things it's a bra life it's a bit of fitness coaching mindset coaching business coaching life coaching I guess um, so yeah it's, it's all that man it's um so we've got a few people on it, uh, various, there's one-to-one -one programs and there's the group coaching programs. So the group coaching call was last night, it's every Tuesday at 7pm UK time. Uh, if you want to jump on that, visit itsabrawlife.com, there's a wee questionnaire thing there to fill out and then we can chat, we can chat, we can get sorted. Right, I'm going to boost just now, get into the lab, get started. Uh, we're training a bit earlier this morning so I'm going to go and um, get ready for that and I will see you in a little bit, see ya. Do you hold your word to yourself? Do you? Because there's a lot of people out there that say they're going to do something and never get around to doing it. Everything I say I'm going to do, I do it. I gave up alcohol for a year, I'm still doing it because I, I don't need it. 
but I said I was going to do it 1st of January 2022 not going to not drink for a year done it just every morning not going to have a beer tonight every afternoon not going to have a beer tonight every evening not going to have a beer tonight repeat the cycle for a year same with training I'm committing to training three times a week and I'm committed to doing the burpees 10 burpees every day get up in the morning do 10 burpees it's just hold your word there's so many people out there are losing credibility because they're saying they're going to do something and never do it if you have made a commitment to your friends your family your peers your employees whatever your employers turn up show up be the person you admire all right set an example lead by example Alright, that's Wednesday session done. It was upper body today, bit of back work. Um, so yeah, feeling good man, feeling strong. Uh, but the plan now is get back to the lab, get some food, get wash, get orders done, pick up the Bra Beadman Stats Championship trophies, and then got some creative work to do this afternoon as well. So here we go. Alright, that is not the end of the day. It usually is when I jump in here. Um, no, I'm going to, I'm going around to a place uh, that is making the trophies for the Beardman Stash Championship. So I'm going to go and pick them up just now. And uh, hopefully they're all good. They should be. We've done plenty of samples. And uh, the team that produce them are shit hot at what they do. So, yeah, going in that room there and uh, pick up the trophies. I'll show you them when I get them. I'll see you in a bit. Hello, that is, shush, that is Wednesday done, uh, good day again, there was a lot of orders there, so they're away now, uh, there was also, some came in just before I left, so I managed to get them done as well, so they're sitting ready for the post day uh, in the morning, and training was good, it was upper body today, um, yeah, kind of back work today, uh, a little bit shoulders, um, and then picked up the trophies for the champs as well, gave you a sneak peek there, they look good, don't they? They look good. There's still a lanyard to go on them, so they're going to be like a, a kind of medal style this time. Um, we used to do block trophies, but they're a bit heavy. Um, and three years off, man, fancy the change. So we're going to be like a medal style this time. Um, more like a medallion, man, they're quite big. So, yeah, um, waiting on the lanyards arriving for them as well, which will be cool. And then just some 
stuff for the program for the the printed program um, designing some stuff for that for the champs. I think that's kind of been it. Right, I'm gonna go just now, chill with the family and get some food, and then I will see you all on Friday. Hope you're having a good one so far. See you later. Hello, it's Friday and the plan today is get orders done, there's a lot there, uh, and also we're training today as well, and then, uh, what else? Edit the vlog. And then we've got uh, stuff to get ready for the Weird Moustache Championships, it is only two weeks away, which is awesome man, I am pumped for it, I'm looking forward to it, everything's in place, uh, there's just a couple of things like for the, the printed program, uh, category sponsors, that kind of thing, just need finished, finalised, some... Um, signage for around the venue, that kind of stuff needs done, but other than that, logistically, we could run the event tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to it, man, it's going to be so good, it's going to be so good. Um, what else? Oh, I'm going to see that new premises again tomorrow, uh, I'm going to go with um, sort of lay out templates of the cabinets and stuff to try and lay it out and see see what's going to be the best configuration, really, that's that's really it, is um, make it as efficient as possible, so doing that tomorrow which I'm looking forward to. Sunday I think I'll be back in the lab um, making a lot of product for the event. Also we've got the limited edition beard oil but we've got the the stock, the, the range of beard oil that needs made as well, the shampoo needs made, everything needs made for the event. So yeah all the products I'm going to come in and make them on Sunday and yeah we'll be good to go after that I think. Right I'm going to boost, I'll see you in a little bit. I need to go and get ready for the gym and uh, yeah get the labels printed for the orders. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> see you in a little bit. Catch you later. How intentional are you with your actions? I've had a lot of messages recently, people saying I want a big beard like mine, but they keep trimming their beards thinking that's going to make it grow faster. It doesn't work that way. Just let it grow. Let it grow from the sides, let it grow from the underside, let it grow from the front. Just let it grow and then you can trim it later or tidy it up later once you get to a big beard, then you can style it. It's the same with diet. I see a lot of people want to get in shape but they're snacking and treating themselves all the time. Had a good day at work, treat myself. Had a bad day at work, treat myself. You need to dial in your diet. It's like the tra training that I've been training for years. It's only in the last few months that I've got a six pack back and started to cut in, and that's down to diet. I can, you can train as long as you want, but if your diet's crap, you're not gonna cut in and get your six pack and shape up. All right, and same with business. My business started to really take off when I dialed in my daily habits and stuck to them and committed to the process. If you're struggling, send me a DM. If not, enjoy.
Alright, we're on the phone, that's uh, Friday session done. The camera died on uh, halfway through that workout, so we switched to the phone, so the time lapse, lapse might look a bit different. But uh, yeah, head back to the lab now, gonna get food, get wash, uh, get orders done, edit the vlog, a couple of other things for the champs, and then got some coaching messages to answer there as well. People are asking, uh, since we started doing coaching programs, people have been asking what is the best training program, what's the best training routine? The answer is the one you stick to. That's Friday done. It's been a busy week again. Um, busy with orders, obviously, but been busy with build up for the Broadbeard Mustache Championships. There are only 15 tickets left. There was some just bought like a few minutes ago. Uh, it's taken us down to 15. So there's 15 tickets left before it sells out. There's still two weeks to go. It's going to sell out again, which is amazing. So if you bought a ticket and you're coming along, thank you very much for your support. If you want to come along, be quick. The link is thebroadbmc.com. They will go soon. Um, Apart from that, man, that's, that's kind of what I've been focusing on. I've, I've got stuff from the charity sent over. We've got leaflets, I'm just looking at them just now. We've got leaflets, we've got wristbands sent over from the charity, Chrissy's House Suicide Awareness Charity that we're working with this year. Mr. Tragic O'Hara is, he's a local artist, but he's, he's donating a one-off piece of art that he's created, especially for the Broadway Moustache Championships. So we'll be raising money for that at the event. And that's kind of it, that's kind of it. Um, just been orders, training, coaching, the Broadway Mustache Championship. It's all go. Right, I'm going to go just now because I need to finish editing this vlog, get it online for you to watch. Hopefully you can. <laughs> and uh, with that said, have a good weekend, stay safe, look after yourself, and I will see you all next week. Catch you later.